Fort Wetherill State Park in Jamestown, Rhode Island. This state park is the site of Fort Wetherill that used to guard the Jamestown and Rhode Island coast during World War II. It's now a state park and they've created this place for hiking trails, uh, fishing and whatnot. It's 61.5 acres. Uh, some people say the fort is still open, some people say not. Well, this is the start of the fort. As you can see, it is entirely covered in graffiti. Uh, I was told there's not a spot on this that's not covered with graffiti anymore. Looks like they put up a gate so you cannot access the upper sections anymore. <laughs> See some of the old rope and cabling that was used. Hope this is picking this up on this camera. See over the years the old eye beams from the salt water completely rotted away. Yep, completely covered in graffiti. Too dark to see in there.
So you can imagine being down in this bunker during World War II, defending our coastline. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the other side. Like I said, you can no longer access the upper levels anymore. They've put up a fence and you can hear the echo in here. I guess in, from what I was reading in 1985, there was also a murder here of a uh, woman. Don't know exactly the details of it. I would have to go back online and look it up. Another room down here. Yeah, not one inch of this place is uh, not covered by graffiti anymore. See a little bit of the view of the upper level. It's in just another room here. Doesn't really say what these rooms were used for. I uh, can probably imagine that they were quarters for some of the naval and army units, possibly also some weaponry uh, as they were guarding our coastline. And as you can see over here, this was the access to the upper level. There's another trail race that runs up over um, to the left over here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see more from up there, but we're going to go tour that. Alrighty, so there is a hiking trail that runs up along the upper parking lot here okay so the upper trail brings out to another view and lookout area i don't know if the gopro is going to pick it up because it's quite a distance but out that way all that state park over there is actually fort adams so fort weatherill was on one side fort adams was on the other side So we're coming up to the top of what the fort looks like. So that circle down there was said to be one of the cannons that um, an artillery that faced out over the bay to protect it. This spot's all grown in, really can't see much. There's more quarters down there, but because of the way the I-beams are riding away, I'm not gonna go climbing down this, this ladder. Matter of fact, might be still sturdy, but as you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. Again, it's all covered with graffiti up here.
I was told they put up this uh, fence recently to keep people off the roof and everything. I want the excess hatches down there. <clears throat> yeah, this place is in really disrepair. Would have been nice if they would have kept it up, but fortunately that's not the case now. And excuse some of the language that I'm picking up that was spray painted over here. But, it's just the way it is. It's just a beautiful area on our Rhode Island coastline. <clears throat> 